Brooke and I'm Chelsea and it is National Coming Out Day and so we decided to surprise you guys with a new video. Finally it has been so requested everywhere we are finally doing our coming out stories for you guys. So oh, surprise! Surprise! <laughs> Dropping videos on a Tuesday. <laughs> As you guys have noticed Chelsea's hair is different. Uh, you can't really see it in this light but she has dyed it. Look how maroon and beautiful it is. Oh, it doesn't look anything like this IRL. It's party. So before we start this video I want to play a little game. I want you guys to count how many times Chelsea touches her hair throughout the course of this entire video. Let me know in the comments below and the winner gets a follow from both of us on Instagram. I'm curious to see if you guys get it right. <laughs> We're just gonna take turns going back and forth giving you guys our quick uh, coming out stories. So yeah. hope you guys enjoy. So for me it was never a question in my mind that I was gay. I remember walking into preschool or kindergarten literally being more attracted to girls before I even knew what a relationship was. I literally had my first girlfriend at age 13. That's how quickly I knew that I was gay. So I had pretty much been pretty open to my peers throughout my entire life. Obviously the older I got the more people I told. I tried coming out to my mom first when I think I was about 13 but I decided to come out to her as bisexual. I knew just straight up coming out as a lesbian was way too tough. As some of you know saying bisexual is sometimes easier for those people who have a tough time understanding your sexuality. You know at first I think my mom thought maybe I was too young and maybe I was just having confused feelings towards friends. I tried coming out again in high school. I had gotten caught for having a girlfriend um, and it was a huge thing. I had to be careful in high school even with my peers just because I had a lot of family up in Thousand Oaks and Newbury Park which is where I went to high school and it's a fairly small town. Anybody can know anyone from the massive family I had and so it was still a secret I hadn't come out to them yet. It wasn't until college for me when I was finally stern with my mom of saying I am gay, I am into girls, like this is my life and this is what it's gonna be. I think it had to do with the conversation I was talking to my mom about Chelsea who she had never met but she had heard of this mysterious girl who had my heart. I had never planned to come out to my family until I was coming out with someone I knew I wanted to be with for the rest of my life. All the meanwhile, mind you, my dad did find out that I was gay. Um, it unfortunately did not come from my mouth, but he did find out. I think he was trying to pretend to be upset in the beginning to appease my mom, but my dad does not care. He has never really cared about my sexuality, so um, that's good. It wasn't until after college when I came out to another family member. It was my grandma and I remember we were all spending the night in my aunt's house and it was like 6 a.m. in the morning and my grandma being a grandma is already up at 6 a.m. trying to get breakfast started and I had heard her rustling around the kitchen because I was sleeping on the couch and I was saying to myself this is my only chance to tell her. I remember going Mimi I don't know how to tell you this, this is really hard for me to say. I don't even know how to say this, but I am gay. And she said, I know, I was just waiting for you to say something. So apparently she knew most of my life that I was gay, which was such a relief and obviously a weight off of my shoulders. It wasn't until my baby brother's 19th birthday that uh, I came out to my entire family, which was basically me bringing Chelsea to my brother's birthday. And that was like the big coming out to all of my family. I had brought a woman to a family event. It's been a long process getting to a stage of acceptance with my family, but everybody in my family loves Chelsea and we all get along really great and it's not even a thing anymore. So. I don't have a very interesting coming out story. I don't even think I technically came out. When I was really little, I think my mom just kind of picked up on the fact that I had deeper feelings for my friends than our normal friend feelings. But to me, I thought it was just normal. You know, this is my best friend and I love her and she loves me. Why would she want a boyfriend? <laughs> You're like the Janice Ian. I was Janice Ian. I guess that was just not the way they felt. Yeah, so I, uh, I never thought about having a girlfriend or anything, but when I was really little, my mom, you know, like I just said, she kind of caught on. She just, out of the blue, out of nowhere, just said, you can like anybody you want to. No matter who you have feelings for, it's okay. And I was like, really little, like maybe six or seven. But as I got older, I kind of, you know, that was always in the back of my head, like, you know, if I like who I like, you know, it's no big deal. Brooke was really the first person that I kind of, in my head, was like, okay, I have feelings for this girl that is unlike anyone else. And so I kind of, she was like the first girl that I was like publicly admitting that I liked, because I felt like it was different. 
it's so hard to explain because I didn't really come out at all. I just kind of decided to go out with Brooke. <laughs> I had fooled around with girls in the past, but it was like, you know, all that, like, you know, curiosity. I just brushed it off. I never accepted the fact that I was like into girls. Yeah, so I remember calling my mom and was like, hey, I kissed a girl. And she was like, well, cool. <laughs> Do you like her? <laughs> For my dad, I just kind of was like, hey, dad, Brooke and I are more than friends. And he just kind of said, okay, and? I was like, do you have any questions? And he said, do you want me to? <laughs> <laughs> and it was just never really talked about. And I brought her over to my family's house without ever forewarning them. It just kind of happened. And nobody ever questioned my sexuality. So everyone was just like, oh, this is who Chelsea's seeing, cool. So the takeaway from both of these, which is why we've delayed this video for so long, is we don't think we have interesting coming out stories because there wasn't a really big coming out moment for either of us yeah. and so yeah but hopefully you guys still enjoyed it <laughs> please be sure to give this video a big fat thumbs up be sure to like us on Facebook Instagram and Twitter I am OMG Brookberry and I am OMG Chelsea Berry and be sure to share your coming out stories below in the comments <laughs> and we'll still see you guys this Friday bye bye